as the desolation of Mordor is released today, I wanted to recap the last two streams so you're completely up to date. Since we can all find this content just by playing it today, I will keep it simple and short. We'll talk about the mercenary system, the classes, their traits, but also the death system, outposts and the new fortress. The mercenary system, as we all know by now, is here to replace the nemesis system. You can hire the Vanishing Sons, Easterlings and Radring whose loyalty can be bought with coin. There are four classes and three advanced classes. Similar to the Uruks, we have the Defender, Archer, the Warrior and the Savage. Those are the classes, but we also have three advanced classes. The Guardian, the Combat Master and the Quartermaster. The Guardian is kind of a defensive class, Combat Master is more an offensive DPS class and Quartermaster is more of a support which supplies and revives allies. You can hire up to 3 mercenaries to be your bodyguards and when you do they will take a spot in the army screen. When hiring you can choose between 3 rarities of mercenaries, common, epic and legendary. Each rarity costs more than the other with better mercenaries and bonuses too. A nice thing about the mercenaries is that they will never betray you, so you don't have to worry about that. The mercenaries have different traits than the orcs and even epic ones. These have different categories like common traits, combat commands, stealth commands and also epic traits like I mentioned. Combat commands are traits that can be activated by you during combat and stealth commands, well yeah, they, they can be activated in stealth. They can revive, supply bombs and arrows, explode orcs and even more. Going over them would take too much time, plus we don't know all of them yet, but since the expansion is released today, you can expect a video on all the mercenary traits soon. One cool thing is that Baronor can use an ability that replaces Elfen Ra, as summons all three bodyguards and will refresh their abilities. With that out of the way, we're moving on from the mercenary system to the outpost. And how do we capture them? It's different than in Shadow of Mordor. You have to kill the outpost leader, of course, but besides that you capture a point like in a fortress siege. Capturing the outpost allows you to place a mercenary of your choice and they will act as your assault leaders for when you finally do a fortress siege. And you will have to take out all the outposts before attacking the fortress. Make sure to keep an eye out on your outposts though because they can be recaptured by Sauron. Moving on from that let's talk about the death mechanic. As most of you probably know, Bernor won't be resurrected like Talion as he isn't a wraith, but you have to restart the story. Your progress on the story missions and Thorfinn skill upgrades will carry forward, but your outposts and hired mercenaries and everything like that will be lost. When you either fail or succeed, a score will be calculated based on the orcs you killed, the time it took and the difficulty you did it in. The higher the score, the more bonuses you will receive when restarting. Besides that, it also has been confirmed that Talion can play in Lidlad. Not the story, but just roam around and everything he can do in the other regions. Finally, besides this, they introduced a few new free updates. A new difficulty, uh, it's called Brutal. This allows the Uruks to deal those fast amount of damage, but also allows you to deal fast amount of damage. This way, it's better than the Grave Walker difficulty in the sense that you're not grinding to get their health down. There are new emblems and filters added to the photo mode in regard to the new DLC. There's a new skin for Talion where you can look like a cloaked Baronor with all the abilities of Talion of course. And finally the Overlord can now have bodyguards which makes fortress sieges that much harder. To end the video I have one question and one question only for you. Do you like the way they went with this game or would you like to have seen it take a different path? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Peace out.